Hey everyone, it's Connie here. Welcome to my home. So thank you guys for joining me on the home tour today. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment below as I'll be sitting with the IKEA interior design team and we'll be answering all your questions after the tour. But first, do let me know where you guys are from. I'd love to know where you're tuning in from. So guys, we're gonna start off with the living space today as the first room of the tour. So this is our living space and I love it for its beautiful feature wall. I've got quite a few of my favorite prints up as well as a few DIYs as well. And I love this rug because it's really bright and it gives the room a lot of character. And of course, this room has a, quite a big couch for two people. <laughs> so I live in this house with my partner and our two-year-old puppy, Toro. He's a papillon, very cute. <laughs> so onto our next room. This is our kind of sunroom for plants. It has beautiful morning light during the day, so we thought it was the perfect room to put all my indoor plants. It's kind of a relaxing area for us. So aside from all our plants, which really kind of bring the outdoors in, and I love that kind of feel in a house, um, we also have like a reading nook over here in the corner. I love to sit here and read some books. And in the morning, it's great for yoga as well. So on to our next room. Um, this is our kitchen space. So I love being in the kitchen because I'm always cooking or I'm eating, looking for food. So if you look out the window over here, we grow quite a few of our own veggies. So out there is our veggie garden. And right now we've got quite a few brassicas planted. So we've got broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, kale, a few Asian greens, and also quite a few pumpkins as well. So we love cooking and growing our own veggies. It's kind of something I love doing at home. Um, down here, we have the dining space. And we've got quite a big table because we like to entertain. And if you look out on the balcony, we've also got a few herbs and salad greens so we can keep them close to the kitchen when we're cooking. And around the corner over here, I'm brewing my own kombucha. So this is what kombucha brewing looks like. They've got the scoby down here and it ferments the tea. And this is almost finished kombucha. So these are lychee flavored kombucha bottles and they'll be ready in about two-ish days. And around the corner over here, we have oyster mushrooms that I'm growing. So oyster mushrooms also take a few weeks. You just spray them with water and then they kind of pop out. <laughs> so yeah, I love growing my own food and making my own food. And it's, yeah, one of my hobbies. So onto our last room, we're going to be visiting the guest bedroom. So it used to be a spare room and then it was, it was, it used to be a spare room and we had like storage boxes in there when we were moving house and now it is quite a sanctuary. So let's go have a look. So this is our guest bedroom. I love how it turned out. It's got a really nice day bed. And it has really nice light during the day. So our dog loves to sit on the rug and sunbake, much like a cat. Um, if you look closely at the stay bed, it's actually two single beds stacked together. So this makes this guest bed really multifunctional. So if you've got guests over and you want to arrange it as two single beds, you can do that. Or you could do a double bed. Or if you've got, if you've got just one guest, you could just keep it as is. And it's like a day bed. So... I really love this room. It's one of my favorites in the house. And I also kind of use this room to hang laundry in here if it's raining outside. So it makes it a really kind of multifunctional room, especially when we don't have guests over every day. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you've got any questions, I'm going to be jumping on a live Q&A with the IKEA interior design team, and we'll be answering all your questions for you. So thanks so much and see you soon. Wow, Connie, what a beautiful home you have. Thank you so, so much for sharing that with us all today. Hi, I'm Tabitha from IKEA, and I'm really looking forward to asking you a few questions and just having a chat. Hey, Connie, are you comfortable and ready? I sure am. Thank you so much for having um, me. It was so nice to have you guys in my home and to share with you our living space. Oh, that's so good. I see you've got also Toro with you today. <laughs> 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 Look, even even if he doesn't, he's super cute. 
All right, so I'll jump straight in. First off, I'd love to know what the meaning of home is for you. You'd mentioned that you share your home with your partner and Toro. So yeah, how has that shaped what home means to you? Yeah, um, so I guess home to me is a place that you can come to and just relax. So somewhere that's kind of like peaceful, a little bit of a sanctuary. I like to make my home really like, I don't know, relaxing and calm. So I like to keep everything neat where possible. <laughs> um, and I also, I also love um, having like home, having a home feel like very lo loving because that's where all our loved ones are. And yeah, so I guess home it, to me is a place like that. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, the home is very important to us and it plays a really big role in the life we live and how we live it. So I also want to mention your home is beautiful. All those spaces that you had just shared with us are gorgeous. And I, could I can see that you'd spent a lot of time and dedication into creating those spaces to look how they are. Are there, are there any sort of treasured memories that you could share with us that um, you have experienced in this home? Yeah, so we actually moved into this home um, two years ago. So we were bidding at auction. Actually, prior to the auction of this place, I had only seen this property once and we thought we'd give it a go and we <laughs> randomly won the auction. So I guess it was a pretty memorable first home <laughs> buying experience. Um, so being quite nice here i love this area um we have really great neighbors and yeah i really love living here i think we've created quite a few memories here just everyday kind of things everyday moments so yeah oh that's really special and especially in light of what's going on at the moment i'm sure you're spending a lot of time at home and what a beautiful space to enjoy are there any spaces in your home that you like to retreat to for privacy and can you sort of share with us why? Yeah, um, I think a couple of my favorite spaces probably are um, the guest bedrooms. So when there aren't any guests over, we use it, kind of, it's kind of a day bed setup. Um, so we use it as a really great space for kind of like reading a book because it's got really nice sunlight. I like doing yoga in there as well if the light's really nice. Uh, another space that I really like is the balcony so, because we've been spending a lot of time at home, um, sometimes if the weather's great, we like to go sit on our balcony and pretend we're outdoors, like in the park or something, <laughs> and have like, have a lunch outside. And it's quite funny because when the weather's good, all of the houses like on our street around us all have balconies and you can see like everybody's out on the balcony which is pretty funny. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Do you think that actually played a really big part in falling in love with the home that you have today? Yeah, um, I really like a home with like a nice outdoor area and so we've got a pretty big garden as well but the balcony was like, it wasn't something that I was hoping to have in our home but when I saw it I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Wouldn't mind a balcony in our place. Yeah, it's nice to connect the indoors and outdoors, especially. I mean, we have such um, beautiful climate here in Australia, so we get to really enjoy it. So um, another question, that space that you're in, is that your plant room that you were mentioning that was originally a dining room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is um, our plant room. I, I guess that's what we call it. It was meant to be a dining space, but we wanted to have a bigger area for entertaining so we've turned a different room into our dining space so because this room has really nice sunlight i put most of my indoor plants in here um it's just like a little kind of casual relaxing area and you can see our garden from the window below as well um so i like to sit here and just kind of gaze outside and read a book yeah. <laughs> oh, lovely. I also, I love plants, but I'm, I'm just no good at looking after them. Do you have any tips or tricks for me or some of our viewers today around bringing some beautiful plants indoors and keeping them alive? <laughs> yeah. um, I think when starting, like when buying your first plant, maybe I think the best thing you can do is get one that's easy to look after. Um, so some of my favorite plants, that are quite easy to look after for a beginner include peace lilies, um, snake plants, um, 
what else? Actually, even the rubber plant here, that's pretty easy to look after as well. Um, and also succulents as well, because you don't have to water them too much. And just make sure, I think you have to really keep on top of your plants and like actually treat them as a living thing and just being like keeping on top of your watering and making sure you're checking up on them. I think that's the main thing. Like sometimes we get really busy and we kind of forget about our plants and that's when they kind of like cry out for help, but they like can't really communicate. But yeah, oh. I think starting off with some after plants is a good way to go. You're building me up with some confidence, Connie, and I really appreciate it. <laughs> I hope I can take some of those tips and actually bring them to life in my home. Um, just actually, in this space you're in now, this plant room, were there any must-have sort of furniture items or storage solutions that you um, brought in that space to sort of bring the idea to life? Um, I think for displaying plants, you definitely need a few open shelves. <laughs> So we've got a couple of different open shelving, um, shelving kind of shelves <laughs> up for our plants. Um, I like shelves that don't really have like the side, the side panels so you can let in as much light as you can. And other than that, I think I like keeping the room quite, quite minimal so that nothing's really blocking the light from coming in because I guess good light for indoor plants is really important. Oh yeah, must. <laughs> it's definitely important, right? So you're telling me you really love bringing nature indoors. Has that impacted your interior style? And if you could maybe explain your style to us? Yes, yeah, sure. So yeah, I guess I have quite a few plants around the house. I really like the feel of having indoor plants in the home. I think it kind of makes it feel like you're outside, but you're actually inside. And it kind of gives the space a really refreshing kind of feel. Um, I love having plants because I feel like they bring a bit of kind of peace and calm to your day. It's like nice to be surrounded by, you know, nature. Um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. And that veggie patch you shared with us earlier in your backyard, how has growing your own food and vegetables or herbs and so on impacted the way you use your kitchen? Yeah, so we started our vegetable garden. Um, so we built it kind of from scratch. We had in our backyard just like a pretty blank canvas and we kind of just leveled everything up and then put our boxes in. So we've been growing veggies for, I think close to a year-ish. No, actually only half a year so far. So we've only done the summer season prior. And it's been really great having just really close access to our food and produce. So we don't really have to always go out to the shops to get stuff and things are really tasty. They taste fresh. I think they taste better than supermarket veggies. And it's just really convenient. So. When we have our veggies growing in the garden, I find that we kind of cook more um, with the season. So with the seasons, so in summer we'll focus on using summer veggies, and in winter we try to use winter veggies more so that we can live off our produce as much as possible. So it's really great having that, um, like just in our home and being able to cook with our own food. Oh, lovely. Do you have any tips for me if I wanted to start my own, you know, <laughs> veggie patch? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think if you want to start your own veggie patch, again, start with easy to grow things. Um, some things right now that you can grow, some veggies that you can grow right now that are easy to grow include, hmm, um, you've got like lettuces, beetroot, radish, um, like, what else is it? Kale. Kale is really easy to grow. Um, Asian greens, so like bok choy and pak choy. So if you start off with things like that, and most of those veggies, apart from like the beetroots and um, radishes, most of the leafy veggies, they kind of they kind of like cut and come again veggies. So you can just cut a few leaves off, and and they'll keep like growing throughout the season. So you get a lot of confidence out of that. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Again, you're building me with confidence. It's definitely going to be my next weekend's project. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd love to talk about interiors again. I have a question from the audience. Any tips on choosing your colour schemes throughout your, your spaces? Um, I think 
For me, I really love having kind of neutral colors. So in particular, I really like natural kind of textures. And so I like to use a lot of wood. Um, I like a lot of like creams, browns, um, white, because I like to bring in a lot of light. So especially white, you can reflect a lot of light back into your space. But I also like a little bit of color as well. So some of my favorites are probably like pinks and oranges because they keep, they bring the, they make the room quite like warm um, and cozy feel. I also love pastel colors as well. And I love bringing in color and character into my space with like rugs. So things like rugs, also like cushions, um, like bedding, soft furnishings. I think that's a really easy way to kind of add personality to your space and also um, like be able to decorate and change things up. So then how often would you say you restyle or redecorate some of your spaces in your home? I feel like I'm always redecorating. Not so much like always finding new things to put in the place, but more like moving things around. So I feel like I'm always rearranging. So I'm always like rearranging the cushions. I'm always like rearranging bedding, plants, stuff like that. So I think it's nice to kind of have a different, like a fresh space, but you don't necessarily have to like bring in all sorts of new things. You can just like rearrange, take things from one room, put them in another room and you can get quite a nice look. I love that idea. I guess that's a really nice way of falling in love with uh, space again and sort of re-energizing re it and bringing some life into an area of your home. It's a great tip. Um, I also <laughs> wanted to ask you a little bit more about that spare room. You mentioned that you feel like it's a sanctuary. What are those core elements in that space that sort of tick those boxes? I think for me, I really like how we use a lot of natural textures in there. So there's a jute rug on the ground and I really like how that feels underfoot and how it kind of reflects the sunlight in a really nice cozy way. And also on the, on the day bed, um, the guest bed, we've got a lot of cushions and pillows and it's just really cozy with all the throws and everything. I think yeah, I think, those, and also the colours that we've used, they're quite soft. There's a lot of white on the bed as well. So with all the sunlight coming in, it feels really cosy. It feels really, like, relaxing. And it's, yeah, it's a really nice room to be in. Oh, gorgeous. So with that space then, do you have a favourite IKEA product that you used in that one? And if you can tell us why. I think my favourite product would actually be the bed. Um, as I showed you guys in the tour, it's like very multifunctional because originally we were wanted to, when we were trying to put a bed in the guest bedroom, we we're trying to figure out whether we should put like a single bed, a double bed, or like what we should do with that room. And it's hard to decide because you don't want to be like limited, but like to your options. Um, so when I came across that bed and I realized it could be a day bed, <laughs> single bed, two single beds, or a double bed, I was like, oh, it's actually pretty cool. So I think, yeah, I really love that. And I really love how when we don't have guests, we can use it as well as a day bed as well. So it's really cool to be able to have something so kind of multifunctional and useful for a room like that. One last question before we finish up our quick chat. I have an audience one. Um, they would love to know where you get your inspiration from for your interiors. Um, I think I'm quite inspired by like holiday houses and resorts and like relaxing kind of retreats that I visit. I love kind of, I love the feel of a really relaxing kind of space that's surrounded by nature. So I take a lot of inspiration from that. Um, I also love browsing Pinterest. <laughs> um, I get a lot of inspiration of Pinterest. So even if I'm looking for like what color curtain rod I wanted, <laughs> I'd go on Pinterest and I'd be like Googling black curtain rods and like having a look at the images. I think it's really cool to see other people's spaces and be able to take like bits and pieces from that and then make it work in your own kind of home. Oh, I love that. We're all big fans of Pinterest, aren't we? <laughs> well, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. We really appreciate you sharing your home and even just hearing about what made it motivates you, what inspires you. And yeah, we're really thankful to have you today. I hope you enjoyed our chat. <laughs> 
thank you so much for having me. Um, thanks for joining me on my tour. And yeah, see you guys next time. <laughs> see you soon, Connie. Bye. Bye.